Hi, this is Arun, and welcome to my channel of uh, Arun's Creation. Today, I will teach you a very, very special technique uh, to add a realistic beard, uh, something like this. Um, if I make it zoom, so if I hide this layer, then you can see uh, I have added here on this part, on this part. So this is before, and uh, this is after. So let's see how to get this type of work in Photoshop CC. So firstly, uh, open your image in Photoshop CC. Uh, so this is my image and this is my layer panel. So firstly, make it zoom so that uh, you can find out the exact size of the brush for hair. So I will take a new layer by pressing create new layer button then uh, go to brush then I want very hard brush little bit of smooth 89 something okay then you can set the size of the brush um, by pressing bracket on the keyboard so I will adjust the color of the brush something like this okay so later we can adjust the opacity of the brush mm, so color is no matter so something bigger Control Z, Control Z. Okay, this is the size and the uh, color I want for the brush. Now apply once on here. Okay, now I have two layers. One is background for the person and one is here. Now I will take a new layer also from here and uh, choose rectangle tool selection now control D now make a box here and fill it with white and move it to down this layer now merge two layers by pressing control E now we have to assign a brush now go to edit then uh, so before that uh, firstly click on there and uh, control click on there to get selection of this layer make sure you have uh, selection on this layer go to edit and then define brush preset now its name is 72 and uh, click on ok now hide this layer now control D to deselect and make a new layer make sure you have taken a new layer and then uh, go to brush and now we have named it 72 it is available here control D okay that's fine mm, now choose this brush and go to options of the brush now we have so many options are there so firstly the option first option is shape dynamics I want size zitter 100 and uh, zitter angle something like uh, 8 I want okay then uh, I want it to scatter on both axes like this now apply here control Z make it small like this and count you can reduce and increase so one thing more I want to add uh, suppose I am dragging this brush to the down so uh, I want the direction of uh, the brush Mm, so firstly go to shape dynamics I want in direction so select here direction 
then go to the options again I want um, suppose uh, I'm going to the this side so see here if I'm dragging it vertically then I'm getting the horizontal if I'm dragging it horizontally I'm getting the vertical brush so if you want to change the direction uh, just go here and change the direction in the brush okay now hide it now delete this layer and again make a new layer So after doing the all settings in this brush, so uh, open it and make a new layer and apply the brush in the direction of the hair. Very smoothly uh, we are getting the trim beard. Oh, very nice. Mm, from here I want hair something like this. here now I will show you this is before and this is after see in this area this is before and this is after very smoothly we have added the hair I want something here also very natural very realistic hair Control Z here. Mm, now I want here, here also. If you want to put here each segment, suppose I want Control Z. Very natural, very realistic. Here you can see very nice. Similarly, on this side, I hope you are enjoying this video, and uh, it's really, really a powerful tool to add to add a fake beard or trim beard. So see this is before and this is after before and after if you want to add here that's very nice Similarly, you can add here. Now see this before and after. So if you want to add uh, some portion here, so simply choose your brush and uh, controls it something like this. very natural very nice very sleek this is before only see this area this is before and this is after so this is before see this area and check all area before and after so i hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, keep in touch with us arun's creation and uh, if you want any help uh, regarding Photoshop, After Effects and Illustrator, you can ask. So, thank you friends. Keep watching. Arun's creation.